Gymnastics is arguably one of the most mentally and physically demanding sports. And while the sport requires a lot of strength, flexibility, and agility, it also requires a good mindset because some aspects can be extremely scary or tough to mentally do. So what are some of the scariest gymnastics skills ever seen? Keep watching to find out. To start off the list, we have the back full on beam. And as many have guessed by its name, the skill is a standing back tuck with a full 360 twist. However, as many may not have guessed, the back full is not a dismount. Rather, it's a skill that's competed on the beam, meaning that it takes a great amount of precision. If the gymnast is off by even a small fraction of an inch, they can miss their landing and fall to the floor, which is no fun. For some gymnasts, to create enough power to complete this skill, they may do a backflip handspring into tuck. But for others, like Gabby Douglas, they can complete a flawless back full from just standing still, which shows an incredible amount of strength. The first women's gymnast to complete the back tuck with a full twist was Aleftina Pryakina of the former Soviet Union back in the 1986 Junior Europeans. The next skill we have is the Jerkoska Kowalska, which is yet another skill performed on the balance beam. The incredibly hard and incredibly scary skill is a gainer salto layout with two full twists completed as a dismount off the beam. This skill is frightening to launch into. Unlike many beam dismounts in which gymnasts launch themselves straight off of the beam, the Jerkowski Kowalska requires the gymnasts to launch themselves up and begin flipping backwards while traveling forward off the beam. Not to mention, there's also two full twists added in. Together, this skill is not only dizzying but terrifying to master. And while this skill may be incredibly hard, the first women's gymnast to complete it was Kartazina Jerkowska Kowalska from Poland at the 2018 World Championships in Doha, Qatar. Another hard and likely very scary gymnastic skill is the Aminar. This vault was first debuted by Simona Aminar of Romania at the 2000 Olympic Games and has now become one of the most powerful vaults in the sport of gymnastics. The Aminar vault consists of a round off onto the springboard back handspring onto the table, followed by a flip done with two and a half twists in a laid out position before landing. This vault is so difficult that it's worth half a point higher than most other vaults. Next up, we have the Biles, which is named after seven-time Olympic gold medalist Simone Biles. This incredibly difficult skill consists of a double salto layout with a half twist. It requires a high degree of core strength to maintain the layout position while also completing two flips at high velocity. On top of the strength that's required to complete this movement, it also requires a high degree of technical skill because of the blind landing, which adds to the scary aspect. A blind landing means the gymnast does not have the opportunity to see the ground while inverted. As a result, this skill is highly dependent on muscle memory and control. Mid-air adjustments are not an option. Of course, as the move is named after her, American gymnast Simone Biles was the first gymnast to land the skill at the 2013 World Championships in Antwerp. Following that, we have the switch ring leap. Now, while this skill is extremely beautiful to look at, it is actually one of the hardest to master on the balance beam and is much scarier than most may think. Amazing reflexes and flexibility is required to successfully complete this daring leap, as it requires the gymnast to switch her legs in the air during her leap and bend her back leg toward her head, ultimately causing the beam to go out of sight, which means a blind landing. Another scary gymnastic skill to complete is the Biles, which is yet again named after the GOAT, Simone Biles, only this one is completed on the beam. This skill was first done by Biles at the 2019 USA Gymnastics Championships in Kansas City and consists of a tucked double back salto with two full twists. This difficult dismount takes the already tough full-in beam dismount and increases the difficulty by adding another full twist. Though similar to the full-in dismount, one of the most challenging parts of this skill is being able to generate enough speed and power to successfully complete this movement while still remaining in control. By adding an extra twist to the full-in, it arguably makes the Biles, or as it's also known, the double-double, the hardest dismount to complete on the beam. Though with that said, it's no surprise that the only women's gymnast to ever land this dismount is Simone Biles. Next up on this list, we have the Silivas, which is named after Romania's Daniela Silivas, who first competed this skill at the 1988 Seoul Olympics. This skill is similar to Biles as it is a tucked double back salto with two full twists, only it's completed on the floor apparatus. Also similarly, it takes a great amount of precision and power to have success in getting high enough 
enough in the air in order to successfully complete all the rotations and flip with control. A syllabus remained the most difficult gymnastic skill on floor for over 25 years before another gymnast, Victoria Moores, completed the skill, only in a laid out position, adding to the difficulty. Speaking of, the Moores 2 is the next skill up on the list. As we previously hinted at, the Moores 2 is a double salto with a double twist in a laid out position, similar to the Silvas. The Moores 2 requires a lot of power in order to not only complete both flips, but also to do both twists. By changing to the laid out position instead of the tucked, it immensely increases the difficulty because the inertia of these flips and twists naturally forces a gymnast to bend their knees. Therefore, the gymnast must work harder and be extremely strong in order to repel these forces and remain in a laid out position. If you were to watch gymnasts who execute this skill poorly, they typically cannot repel the inertia and end up having slightly bent knees and flex feet, as opposed to completing the skill with straight legs and pointed toes. Up next, we have another skill named after Olympian Simone Biles. The Biles 2 is a tucked double back salto with a triple twist. It's currently the most difficult women's gymnastics skill ever competed on the floor. Comparing it to the previous one, this skill adds an additional twist to the Silvis, which was the most difficult gymnastics move for a quarter of a century. Gymnasts attempting what is also called the triple double are required to generate even more power in order to gain enough airtime to complete this skill with control. It wouldn't be surprising to see this skill stand as the hardest gymnastics skill in women's gymnastics floor routines for the next 25 years. Moving from floor to vault, we have the skill, the chain. This vault consists of a round off entry onto the springboard with a half twist onto the table and a front salto layout with one and a half twist before landing. This terrifying skill is rarely attempted in women's gymnastics mainly due to its difficulty as it requires the gymnast to complete a round off onto the springboard giving them a blind entry onto the vault table. To put it more simply, when the gymnast hits the springboard they're carrying the full speed of their run and the power of the round off backward towards the vault table that they can't even see. The front salto with one and a half twists off the table must then be completed by carrying upward momentum from their blind twisting entry. Though it much more complex than just simply generating a straight line of power from the springboard to the vault and then up in the air to complete more common vaulting skills. Nonetheless, it seems very scary to me. This complex skill was first completed by Cheng Fi in China in the 2005 World Championships and would later be competed by Simone Biles in 2016. Up next on the list, we have the DEF. Completed on the bars, the DEF is where a gymnast releases from the bar and completes a back salto layout with one and a half twists before catching the bar again. The first women's gymnast to complete the movement was Nezjana Ristakiva at the 1992 World Championships, though the initial creator of this skill was Jacques DEF, who was named after. Last, but definitely not least, we have the Pradunova, which is not only one of the hardest skills, but also arguably one of the scariest. This vault requires a gymnast to run full tilt towards the table and launch themselves over the table doing three front tuck saltos. This incredibly difficult skill was first competed by Russia's Yelena Pradunova in 1999. This skill was so difficult that more than a decade passed before it was seen again, and to date, only five other gymnasts have attempted it in international competition. This is understandable, however, because it's not only extremely difficult, but it's also extremely dangerous and is even even considered as the most high-risk maneuver in the sport of gymnastics. With that said, that's going to wrap up this video. What skill do you think was the scariest? Let us know in the comments. Thanks for watching.